My UFO Schematics, a lecture by Jonathan Barlow Gee. This is what the disc craft would look like from the outside. There are black tinted plexiglass sections in this model, while the rest of the surface appears like a mirror. The ship can cloak itself, however due to the convex bending of light around it, it is almost invisible while airborne even without using the cloak. Here we see a full exploded diagram showing the relationship from the side of all the systems in the disk craft. From upper left clockwise to lower left, the scalar spiral sphere coils in a gyroscope, the propulsion system, control booth, the ship's cabin, crystal sphere spinning with water inside a magnet, the navigation system, sensory deprivation for hypersleep, the sleep chambers or personal quarters, hangar bay for entering and exiting the craft, particle accelerator, the braking system. In this systems schematic, we see a color-coded above view of the disk craft. The living quarters are in green, the propulsion system in red, and the brakes in blue. The stationary ring, green for Earth. The stationary ring or habitat ring contains the central control booth and all the living quarters. This ring is the only self-contained section containing breathable atmosphere, air given off from the cryo chambers. It is the only section that would be left if the gravitic drive and tachyonic propulsion system had to be jettisoned. The admixture of elements in the stasis chambers determines the breathable admixture of elements in the atmosphere of the rest of the stationary ring. The gravitic compass, black for water. The gravitic compass, or central gravity well, or simply the craft's center of gravity, is comprised of the geode calibrated gravitic drive system being both the crystal computer and the solenoid ring of its concourse, and the venting system, which is also the outer ring of the ship's warp field, and which serves as a deceleration for the craft while traveling in hyperspace. Essentially, this system combines the steering and the brakes of the craft. The fiber optic photon drive blue for air. The fiber optic photon drive channels energy from the gravitic drive throughout the ship and mostly so to the tachyon thrusters. Every surface of the ship that is not either atmosphere or a moving part is made up of fiber optic cable mesh. When an electrical current is passed through the fiber optics, they accelerate their interior particles to the speed of photons. In warp drive, these fiber optics shrink into superstrings, and their charge assumes a resonant harmonic conductivity. This is what shifts gears between various warp field velocities. Tachyon propulsion, red for fire. The tachyon propulsion system is made up of the craft's gyroscope thruster engines. Each is a simple copper gyroscope housing an amber crystal at its core. When the electromagnetic charge coming from the gravitic array through the photon accelerator fiber optic ring reaches the tachyon thrusters, it links their magnetically controlled positioning directly to the geode computer system. In the braking system diagram, we see the particle accelerator comprises the outermost ring of the disk craft's hull. It is comprised of fiber optic cables that can allow electricity to be sped up to the speed of light. This serves as the brakes for the disk craft by determining the velocity traveled by the exterior of the ship itself. 
Here we see the propulsion system diagram showing the scalar spiral coils in a gyroscope. Each tachyon thruster for the ship contains at the core of a magnetized gyroscope a single piece of amber. The method of function for how the electrical input signal from the ship enters the gyroscope uses EM fields projected by the solenoid surrounding it. Hypersleep Chamber Diagram The mask worn by the sleeper inside the suspension of nano-organic amnionic fluid inside the soft tissue sac records and retransmits the sleeper's dreams, sending them via the main computer into the reflexive skin of the sack itself. The top doorway is wet, translucent, soft tissue. The chair in the cabin diagram shows the style of the seat in the cabin or control booth. A bench chair for straddling, foot pads for where your legs fold up beneath you. The arms wrap around but also swivel aside. The spine and headrest of the chair are pliable mesh to conform. The navigation system diagram showing the crystal sphere or geode suspended in fluid inside a metal orb. The metal orb conducts electromagnetic charge and travels around the circular torus tube beneath the cabin or control booth of the disc craft. The tube is a magnetized solenoid coil and by moving the charge in the tube to one side or another, the magnetic orb will move to that location in the tube and thus shift the center of gravity of the disc craft. The geode acts as a data storage computer also containing inside it all the maps from one location to the next of all the places the disc craft has traveled to. Navigation System Schematic 1 shows the method the geode computer system functions. The geode is depicted as the yin-yang in blue and red, rotating clockwise as it revolves around the two counterclockwise, and vice versa. This is controlled by the electrical charge of the water inside the orb around the geode, and this field surrounds the yin-yang symbols, showing a north and south magnetic pole for the field. The inner and outer rings of symbols are derived from S. L. McGregor Mather's Concourse of the Forces diagram from Israel Rigardi's book, The Golden Dawn, where the red and blue triangles symbolize the four elements labeled in green as F for fixed, M for mobile, and C for cadent. The symbols outside the outer ring, depicted in black, show the alchemical symbols for salt, sulfur, and mercury. These comprise the navigation system. If you want the craft to move forward, roll the orb around to the coordinate on the tube in the direction you want to go. Navigation System Schematic 2 Again, we see here the navigation system but here we see it displayed not as one circle, but as a left side and a right side, straightened out to form hollow vertical columns. Here we see inside the geode orb the same S for south and N for north. Magnetic poles rotate the geode inside the orb as the opposite pole minus for negative or plus for positive on that section of the solenoid tube enclosing the magnetic orb. Here we see the zodiac months are 
added for further labels of the coordinates given in the last diagram from Mather's concourse model. <laughs>